Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. He looks at me and he's like, It's time to pay your tithe. I'm like, What? So let me be a family this Christmas. Let this. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out, don't lose your youth. Cause I can stay inside and step away inside. Oh, make today just a little less mundane. Oh, I can stay inside and step away inside. Oh, go for a walk the lighting is weird let me get it it's around 6 a.m 6 p.m so i was thinking of going for a walk because <laughs> this place has got there's two nice nice scenery the scenery that i love but it's already late because i want to also prepare chapati so i've decided let me just make the dough kukanda and then go buy some more food i'll go for a walk tomorrow i think hopefully because I love going for walks in the morning too, but this place is so hot in the morning, so hot from 7 a.m. So the 5.30, 6 p.m. is perfect. Let me try to make these chapatis. It's been, I think, almost seven months since I made chapatis. Yeah, from the time that I gave away my table when I had the tubana with the table, I used to roll chapati on that table. So when I, I sold the tubana and gave away that table to the person who bought the tubana, I've never cooked chapati because you all know that my house doesn't have a kitchen countertop. So, but today we are going to attempt. Let's see. In the meantime, let me have that water boiling because we're going to need some warm water. Okay? As we need. For the longest time ever, I've always used only salt in preparing chapati, but I saw some people using um, sugar and I tried it once and I loved it. So I'm going to put sugar to just a little bit i'm using a jab on purpose flour i'm also going to use prestige i love using blue band in my chapati and my mandazi and um i love cooking my chapati with cowboy but my brother doesn't have cowboy he only has this liquid oil so that's what i'm going to use i wish i had cowboy no mm, no i can't see the cowboy there no I'm just going to use this um hopefully the yellow color from the margarine especially blue band will also bring out that yellow color because i love chapatis that look yellow let me move this so we can have space i'm just mixing everything and since it's been long since i prepared chapati <laughs> just see what i do i don't even want to give you a recipe because what if it back for years but i trust myself <laughs> i haven't turned on the ring light yet I'm feeling lazy and I feel like it's a little bit late, so I need to start connecting this ring light that is giving me wakala. Ah. Just a little bit of sugar. I think that's enough. You want the chapati to sugar. Um, my chapati is simple. Most of the time I don't do extra things. I feel like, but today I just want to do the normal chapatis. I hope this light is okay. okay. I've just decided to turn on the ring light. Okay? Have quality very in a hurry. So I love I prefer 
warm water, not hot, not cold. So I'm just going to mix it slowly by slowly until I get that consistency I want. If I need to add more oil, I'll add, but then later, later when I'm done, I'll add the blue band, margarine. Mm -hmm. And I'm not preparing a lot because it's just me, my brother, and Taraji. In December, we give our gifts, wishing well to our world. Peace on earth to everyone. A time to be joyful when all is calm and all is bright. But why does it change with the seasons? And why can't we just hold on? so it can sit for a few minutes as I go by food. I'm just going to cover using this shopping bag. I'm going to try second for one hour because I'm still going to buy beef. I'm thinking of cooking beef with Minji, but my brother was my brother says chapati tastes better with dengu or beans, like green grams. Set. So I don't know. Let me consult with him one more time. Because we have dengu here. If it's dengu, I have dengu here. I can just sort and prepare it. But I haven't eaten home cooked chapati in such a long time that I was just craving beef. But let's see. Uh, if you see that's dengue, maybe we can go with dengue. But if not, we can go with the beef and maybe peas, minji. We'll see. Lights on my memories, the magic of love. We made time, but why does it change with the seasons? In I want to start rolling the chapati and then cooking it. Uh, at least the good thing is that we have a four burner so I can cook everything at once. And I don't want to complicate things. It's around 7.30. It's already late. I want to be done by 8. So I don't want to keep again rolling and adding oil because the chapatis are soft enough. I just want to take two bites. <laughs> I just want to portion them using my hands. No fancy things, so we can cook and eat.
took it because it started to rain. Afternoon in the fall. This weather always makes me think about it all. The woman across me, she's wearing a trench coat, a bouquet of roses. I wonder what they're for. A candlelit dinner, a date in the park, a night at the theater, or love in the dark. I don't know where she's going. I don't even know her name. I don't know if her life has been a breeze or. For a moment on a train, almost at the downtown stop. I'm already late, but I don't wanna get up. Outside the city's painted gray,、mm, but in here a vivid world is on display. The man behind. Suitcase, a custom cut suit, but shadows on his face. Was it just a bad day? Will he laugh when he gets home, or did it all go astray? And now he sleeps alone. I don't know where he's going. I don't even know his name. I don't know if his life has been a breeze or a hurricane. I don't know if he's out. For a moment on a train, how many timelines collide inside these walls? How many good times and tear-soaked phone calls? So our food is ready. This is the beef with the minji. It's thick and delicious, just the way I wanted it. For chapatis, I normally give them a few minutes after cooking before I put them inside. Maybe cover them maybe with aluminium foil or something like a maybe shopping bag, so that they don't sweat. Because if you put them if they are too hot, they'll sweat and then have those whitish things. So you see how they are. Look at how soft they are. Oh, this is not bad for someone who hasn't cooked chapati in like six seven months. They look soft. I can't wait to test them. Ooh, I love it. No, I'm not a saint. Is anybody these days? Oh, I've been alive. My baby and I are going for an evening walk. It's 6 p.m. <laughs> oh, I know I'm looking at us and wondering why we are recording ourselves. But yes, I keep this place has nice scenery. Look at this kind of place. Look, look at all over. These are the kind of places me I want to. I like. Going for walks, not places where they are crowded and there are vehicles and there are a lot of people. So we'll just make this a happy because my baby and I love walks. So there. <laughs> Guys, we're going back because it's getting dark, and、uh, yeah, I'm vlogging. That can be dangerous. I'm not so familiar with this place, but we just picked one route and followed it. So tomorrow we'll pick another route, maybe that other side, because we love walking with Taraji. Even when we were at home, she used to tell me, "Let's go and walk. Let's just go for a walk when you're going to buy food." <laughs> I'll be staying with my brother for a while, so I'll be going on these walks. A lot of days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's evening. It's night time. I want to remove these clothes. They are my brother's clothes.
We still have some chapatis from last night. I boiled dengu before going for the walk, so the dengu is ready. I've also prepared the ingredients, the onions and tomatoes. I just want to fry it. Some 10 minutes thing, then let it be because we also have rice that we cooked uh, during lunchtime. So when my brother gets here, he's not yet home. We're just going to warm everything, chapati, rice and the dengu and eat. Because yesterday he, he wanted dengu, Taraji wanted beans, I wanted beef. And then we were like, what, so what, what should we do? And then they decided, oh, let's just cook but beef. And then, so that was beef yesterday and then on the dengu for them today. When I was out on the walk, I just remembered an incident that happened. I think it was this year. <laughs> I had gone to visit my family. I have family members in different areas. So I went to visit them for some time, stay there for a few days. So as I like going for walks, especially in neighborhoods whereby it's not just crowded with people and buses, those kinds of neighborhoods. So I decided to go for a walk. So I put on my sneakers and some tights and some tank top, just something comfortable for a walk. And I had my phone, so I was just walking, walking. And then this guy was driving by. Yeah, it was in those wealthy estates. This is a Masonko, so he drives by. It was just like a movie. You know those movies where you just bring your own shit and then this rich guy drives by? So that's what happened. So this guy drives by, he slows down, looks at me, I was the other side, he was driving this side. No, obviously he can't cross because he's supposed to maintain that lane. Looks at me and then says hi, I say hi back and then I continue on my walk. I was just walking, it was just a slow walk, not a jog. When I'm walking, for the fun of it, it's to enjoy, it's not just like ah, an exercise thing to run or jog, no. So I just said hi back and then continued walking and then this guy was like just come over just cross over because i'm looking people are looking at me weird because i was walking and he was also just following me slowly slowly he was driving really really slowly so i looked at him i was like hmm okay let me cross over so he crossed the road this to this other side so he started talking to me as he was driving and i was walking and he was like this is very weird and people are looking at me why don't you just get into the car so i told him my mama told me not to get into strangers cars we had a little bit of oh no you know those things oh you can trust me whatever whatever i looked at his number plate i don't like getting into strangers cars for real but have i ever done it yes i think once or twice and before I do that, I do my own thing. So I just took his number plate. I was like, you know what? I've taken your number plate and I've sent it to my family. So in case of anything, you're the last person to with me, blah, blah, blah. Just like to threaten to let him know that, you know what? Other people can trust me, can know where I am. So you need to be smart. So I did that. I got into the car. So we were chatting. He was like, what, where are you going? I was like, I was just looking around, touring the neighborhood, you know what? And then he was like, let me take you around a bit. So he took, um, he took me around. That place was sparsely populated. You know those areas that have those kind of scenarios? It's not like there are people everywhere. I'm a building everywhere. So he was just showing me around. This is the Queen. I don't have to mention the place so people don't know. <laughs> so it's like, this is where, this is this resort, this is this you query, this is on this you hoo hoo. So about 10, 15 minutes in, he kept leaving the places where a lot of people were and going into those places. And I'm like, ah, is this my sign to like take off or something? So just looking at him, monitoring, looking at the door. You have to be like cautious. Then you get somewhere and this guy parks the car. So after parking, he looks at me and he's like, it's time to pay your tithe. I'm like, what? <laughs> I've taken you around, I've taken my time, I've driven you around, so it's time for you to pay your tithe. And then he moves in for a kiss. In my mind, I'm like, sir, sir, that ain't happening. This is not how it goes down. And then I'm like, no. I told him, no, I just met you. I don't know you. I can't kiss you. And it's just a kiss. No. He was trying to convince me, like, because he did something nice for me, I should do something nice for him back. And he had sparked the car and he was like, if you don't pay the tithe, this guy ain't moving. <laughs> I have suffered in this Nairobi. I told this guy, look at my shoes. I was walking. 
These shoes are for walking. I'm putting on sneakers. The idea was to walk. I can walk from here to whatever. I was walking. You have never interrupted my walk. I am ready to walk. So if this guy is not moving, I am walking. So instead of saying, oh, don't be like that. I was like, no. At just like, just one case, I was like, no. That ain't happening. There's nothing like that that is happening on this planet. Because you know what? What I've, uh, from my experience, what I've learned with men is that once they get so excited, yeah, there's nothing you can tell them. There's no conversation that is going to happen. You guys are going to argue. Oh my God, why are you doing this to me? You're so mean. I'm going to die. Oh my God, I'm going to get prostate cancer. Stream bloopers. I know what? And men can be very dramatic. And I hate. If there's something that I hate, I hate it's that back and forth. No, I can't. No, please. I'm dead. I hate it. So, I always try to avoid situations whereby we are not even starting anything. And then I was like, I just met you. I don't want your saliva in my cell. I don't want your mouth anywhere near my face. I just met you. <sighs> well, so he decides to move. He drives again and then stops again. Then the same thing. He's like, this guy is moving. I was like, oh no, what? Bye. Let me go. He was like, okay, let me just take you then. He takes me to where? Near my um, family's place where I was supposed to write. He takes me there. As I was leaving, it's me. My people now, my family, one of them called me, called me. They're like, Are you still out? Maybe can you pass by the supermarket and buy these and these? Because I was going to get out. But since you're already out, I was like, It's okay. I tell this guy, I need to get something from this supermarket. He takes me to the supermarket, gives me a mask. It was those days where people still had masks. He gives me a mask from his uh, car, from that car thing. He gives me a mask. I go inside, I buy, and then he's like, Give me your number. So when you're going back home, because I was just visiting, I'll drive you. And he went. And me, Linda, do you think that I, Linda, can never ask a guy for his number? Never. Not in the land of the living, not on this land. So he never asked for his number. He didn't want to say, like, in plain language, like, you know what, now that you yeah, are not able to do that, now there's nothing that is going to happen, no. So he's like, oh, give me a number, I'll give you a call, blah, 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 and that's it. I don't know where he went. And I sat there and I was like, so this guy, he was driving by, about to get into his house, I was like, ah, that girl over there, let me just give her, like, a 10-minute ride here, have some kakwiki, make a nice kiss, make a quickie, whichever, and then before you get into my house. <laughs> people are weird out here. Let me go. <laughs> people are weird out here. I don't know. One of these days, maybe I say my dating stories. I've only given you people one story, but eh, the things I have seen in this Nairobi. Wahala. Let me prepare this dengu. I'm used to grating tomatoes, but eh, the grater that my brother has doesn't work that well, so I've just been cutting them. I hate seeing tomatoes in food like this, but this is almost ready. I'll just put some soup and we are good to go. Finally, the green grams are ready. You see the way it's popping? Hey, it's yummy. This one. The people are going to eat it with the chapati. Hey, they're going to have a good time. Let me just switch this off. That's ready. Me, I'll eat it with rice and then my brother and Taraji will eat it with chapati because eh, they loved the chapati and the only few pieces remaining i'm done cooking i just we're going to wait for my brother for a bit if he doesn't come taraji and i will eat and then maybe he'll eat later but i want to see my real gang gang i want to see the people who watch my videos to the end so i'm going to give you a secret word to say if you watch this video up to this point because i'm ending it you can give me any comment you want and then add the words it's time to pay your time. <laughs> or just write the words, it's time to pay your time. I will know that you reached the end. Because that thing will kill me. Anytime I remember that thing, it cracks me up. If you are, if you are a guy, don't ever use that line. It's, it's lame. Very lame. But anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. 